G'day and welcome to this week's video. My name's Robbie Gowdy and I've got Amy with me. Hello. Welcome, Amy. This week's video, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, just a stress-free retirement and a few of the, you know, I suppose the four main things to reduce stress in retirement. Um, yeah, first, Amy. Well, first off, we'll go through the stages of retirement. So we've got, you know, the early retirement when you've just left the workforce and you're you know, ticking off all those bucket list items and really enjoying retirement while you're young enough and fit enough. And that's something we really highly encourage everybody to do. Then you've kind of ticked off most of your bucket list items. You're slowing down your spending a little bit as you age. Um, and that's when you might want to be spending a lot more time with family and doing like family fun activities and maybe doing a little bit of a early inheritance potentially. And then you've got your late retirement when you are probably quite aged, the mind slowed down, the body has slowed down, and you might be a little bit more homebound and your spending significantly decreases because you aren't doing all of those extravagant things that you've done in early stage retirement. Right. So go hard in the first stage, yep. and that's somewhere between retirement of 60 up to 80. I think people are staying fitter for longer, and so people in their, in their early 80s are still very active. But when we get to that late stage retirement, and this is important to understand you know the things you'll be thinking about and that i've seen with my clients and for some of those that are listening may have seen this in their grandparents or their parents is the things that you'll be worried about you know in late stage retirement when when more housebound or in an aged care facility is not the bank balance mm -hmm. it will be regret about the things you didn't do when you were well enough and fit enough to do them um, you'll be worried about other things and and i've seen this in multiple times in in clients that they could not give two hoots about what their money is worth um, at that stage. Is what eats them up is the regret about what they didn't do or, um, so it's worth Googling, um, you know, that exact you know, question, you know, what do people think about in late, late stages of their life? What worries them? And in all the reading I've done and what I've physically seen with clients, it's not money. No, it's about not doing the things you wish you did when you were young enough and fit enough. Another thing about a stress-free retirement and something that does cause a lot of stress is when you see your pension balance, your account-based pension fall in value. So well, we're all bad at this, but we see the peak of what our portfolio has been valued at. Markets come back a little bit and we stress out. So in those times, it's really, really helpful to do those forward-looking projections on the lower balance base and understanding that hey, I've come back a couple hundred thousand dollars potentially, but I can still spend the exact same amount of money and get through all the way to life expectancy. Yeah, and again, whether, and I've done these calculations of clients, whether there's $600,000 left or four hundred dollars or $100,000 left, you're not gonna be thinking about that at the time. So there is de we definitely instinctively think, oh, the market's down, we've got to pull our spending in. Uh, and for those that are young enough and fit enough, we're saying, no, do not rein in your spending. Do the calculations. Prove, let the, let the figures do the, the talking. Prove that you've got enough to see you through yep. quite comfortably. Definitely, you don't wanna sit back at the end of the day and say, hey, I've got $400,000 left, but I wish I did that trip when I was young enough, so do it. The fourth thing that we thought we'd mention is that we live in Australia. We have an incredible amount of safety nets. We have the age pension, as an amazing safety net. So for a couple of homeowners, you can have, I think it's around $930,000 or less. Once you're below that figure, excluding your home, you can start to get some age pension. Yeah. And as your assets decline over time due to spending and having fun and all markets, the amount of pension you get slowly goes up over time. In addition to that safety net, we also have, for people that own their own homes, there is a a reverse mortgage uh, scheme that means you can uh, top up your fortnightly pension by little incremental incremental loans on your home. So, and that's tidied up down the track uh, via your estate and the, the government get paid back. Yeah. It is important to make sure that there will be enough, you know, for, for some that may need to go into aged care uh, because there are some pretty sizable refundable deposits that may need to be paid. But for those who don't have the full amount, there are strategies there as well. So we're essentially encouraging people to have fun while they're young enough and fit enough to do so. Get out there and do it. Awesome. Thanks for listening. Thanks, everybody. Bye.